everyone welcome back so it's finally fall and some of you have requested me to do an updated favorite brown lip video so today i'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite brown shades at the moment i try to narrow it down to 10 shades i will just say most of these lip products are from Roland. i don't know what it is but they came out with really really good lip products the past few years really good shades as well Roman has been on top of their game i do have some similar alternatives so i'll be going to details about that as well starting at first you've seen these in a lot of my favorite videos i'm not going to be lip swatching these because i've already lip swatched them before and mentioned in my previous favorite videos i do have my top three lip products that are my go-to brown shades shades that are perfect for my natural beige skin tone the first one is vanilla cream from etudes fixing Ten. you probably know about this product it is discontinued and I'm literally using it to the last drop. I do have a dupe video of this. I would love to say that vanilla cream is my favorite formula for this shade. The oxidation color is perfect. The formula, the finish is everything. Next up is Roman Zero Matte Lipstick in 21 Smoked Beige. Similar to vanilla cream. has a really good stain, really good velvety like finish as well. It doesn't oxidize as much and has good pigmentation. The biggest advantage of this is that it's very moisturizing for our lipstick. So I really like the formula of this. When I go to a glossy brown shade, it has to be brown heaven. And again, this is discontinued as well. I do have a dupe video of this as well on my channel. I do like it in the formula of the ink boot glowy tint you know this formula has a really good stain very moisturizing has a very nice dewy gloss finish it does oxidize quite a bit to be a darker shade but it's pigmented really buildable this doesn't have any yellow orange or red in it it's more of a chocolate brown color so starting off with my first shade for this season it is Roman's glass to melting balm and buffy coral um, this is in the shade 11 you have a sheer light brown color for this formula it is quite a sheer color and for some reason for glossy finishes i've been more into sheer shades if i want like a glossy shade for a darker color i prefer to use a matte version and then just put a gloss over it i find that sometimes they can oxidize quite a bit so it's a little bit harder to control the color for this formula however it is quite sheer but it's buildable really good to layer on top of other products the formula is quite thick and a little bit waxy so it might be a little bit overwhelming however the glossy finish looks really good very moisturizing perfect for winter or cool weather so it has a sweet scent to it. There's also Scotch Nude. I do recommend Scotch Nude as well. It's a little bit darker, similar to Nucadamia. So my seasonal color is a soft autumn and light spring. But the coral is sort of that soft brown color. It also has a really nice glossy finish. Lots of beautiful shades from this collection. Next up we have Pierre Perel's Ink Moon Matte Stick. This is in the shade number 12, Hip Brown. I'm actually wearing as a base on my lips right now. And... You sort of have this mute brown color. It's not super brown, however. It's sort of this like gray brown, but it's not pale. It doesn't make me look pale. I find that with these type of shades, it is quite difficult on the Korean to find in the Korean market. And it is moisturizing, but I would recommend you prep your lips well beforehand. Getting semi-moisturizing does have a really good stain and sort of has like creamy like formula to it so it's really easy to glide on the lips really easy to apply it doesn't necessarily fill the wrinkles of your lips but it makes the wrinkles of your lips really good if that makes sense so it doesn't accentuate the wrinkles but it kind of complements it gives a really nice beautiful velvety like finish overall it is going to be matte i would say it has up to three to four hours of a good stain depending on eating and drinking because of how creamy it is this is also it works really good to use as a cheek as a blush or eyeshadow type of product it kind of has a shade butter scent to it next up we have Roman's glass and color gloss this is deep and more a lot of these do look like a brown purple shade because i have been kind of obsessed with it but this is sort of one of those as well this does have more brown in it than purple a little bit similar to buffy coral but it can go a few shades darker although it's a little bit similar to buffy coral the formula of this is amazing sort of a lifter gloss it just makes your lips look so juicy and pout and it fills in the wrinkles of your lips super well super glossy lots of good lip shades from this collection as well the only downside is that it doesn't have much of a stain but this product does apply sheer and you can build up the colors also really good to use as a retouch gloss this does have a sweet like scent next up is Roman's sheer tinted stick this is a lip product that recently came out and this is in the shade 5 dutch cocoa a little bit similar to the previous one deep and more except for this one it does have a little bit more purple in it the thing about dutch cocoa is that it does apply sheer but it's very very pigmented and buildable so it can go a few shades darker than deep and more and it does have a pretty good stain too i find with this lip product the more the longer that you wear the better the stain it's least scented so far it doesn't have any scent at all it's really really subtle for the past few years a lot of lip balms came out even roman's plastic melting balm very popular lip product but after these came out i would say the sheer tinted sticks are my favorite lip balm 
balm it's a lot lighter than their melting balm very very moisturizing inside and out it does have a really good pigmentation so you can build up the color really well to make it darker if you want i also find that it doesn't oxidize as much so it's really easy to control the color and i find that the longer you wear the better the stain and for our balm these actually have a really good stain the stain is not that long maybe one to two hours but it's definitely a lot better than previous balm lip products on the market i find that balms have a really hard time having a good stain but for this product it does have a really good stain lots of good shades from this collection it also has a really beautiful glossy finish as well really similar to the glassy melting balms next up we have here curls ink velvet in 44 this is in the shade chestnut nude similar to previous shades you have a brown color with a little bit of purple in it for this formula it's very creamy really easy to use um, has a velvety like finish, velvety like formula, very creamy, very easy to blend, very easy to blur. This also works really well as a blush as well, just because of how creamy it is and how easy it is to blend. It does have a sweet shea butter scent to it. It has a really good stain. Up to six hours or more. I can never get tired of this formula. Very classic matte formula next up we have roman's blur fudge tint and this is in radwood and this shade actually came out a few years ago when they first released this product so recently i went back to swatch some of these and i came across radwood which is such a beautiful burgundy brown color it can look red sort of like a maroon color it's very deep and dark really good to wear for fall but also into winter as well for this shade and formula it just looks so good together as you know for the blur fudge tint it has a blurring function so it blurs in the wrinkles of your lips really well to give you that nice filtered like lip you do have to wait 10 minutes but it is mask proof transfer proof really long lasting has a really good stain similar to a tooth fixing tint it can last up to six to eight hours or even more it is a little bit more on the thick side but it has a velvety like finish really easy to blend really easy to blur really easy to create ingredients like the finish of this looks amazing as well because it has that nice blurred like cloudy type of finish that just looks very ethereal so that went by really fast but we're already down to our last product or products and i actually have three products but these are all very similar shades to each other one of them is roman sheer tinted stick and this is in the shade number four the name of this is quite interesting this is cleo's crystal glam tint and number eight gentle cinnamon and then we have etudes glow fixing tint and nine lychee beige sort of this mute pink brown color out of all these three romans is the lightest but it does build up however it is going to be lighter for cleos and etudes they do oxidize quite a bit to so be darker and they do have a better stain in my opinion however i do prefer romans because it doesn't oxidize as much and it's easier to control the color both of these are also really glossy as well have this transparent type of crystal like gloss to it very very beautiful gloss although they have a really good stain the stain does turn a little bit red when it touches water or when you blot it if you do like more of a better stain i recommend etudes or Cleo's. If you prefer something that's easier to control the color or something lighter, I recommend Romans. So those are my favorite brown shades at the moment. Let me know in the comments what your go-to brown shade is. Mine it was Vanilla Cream or Brown Heaven. Some of these did look a little bit similar to each other. Lots of brown purple. Well, really interesting to see what kind of products I'm at the moment. Next year it could be totally different. Stay tuned for my favorite fall shades which will have more variety of shades and brands hopefully. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.